Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. The next part what we're going to do is teaching to lead, okay, that he's not uh, moving into us. All right, and we can do this a couple different ways, so I'm going to show you a couple different exercises. But if I'm just going from here to the barn, what I want to do is teach him a pre-cue that when my hand goes forward, if you notice, as soon as my hand went forward, he was moving his feet, okay? And forward. And then the moment his feet move, I relax my arm down to my side and make it relax. And then I want to teach him to stop. Whoa. When I stop, he stops. And forward. And whoa. If you notice, he stopped. You also notice that his, my shoulder is right here uh, behind his, his head. Okay, just like that. The reason is I taught him that because if he gets nervous about something, I can see his head elevate, all right? And that gives me a heads up uh, to be aware. If you also notice, you can see him, he's out away from me. I like to teach my horses where basically they're an arm length away from me, so he has um, an opportunity to move his head around. Most of the time when we lead our horses, let me get in front of the camera and you can see, is we lead him by the snap. We got him right here and we're going, whoa, whoa. And, and if you notice, and also you got your arm bent and you're pulling the horse right into your space. And then I hear the complaint all the time that my horse is in my space and running me down when in actuality we're actually teaching him. So we want to teach that horse to be away from us, okay? All right, another exercise that I do in that in leading is I want to teach him to move the shoulder over. So when I step into him, that shoulder moves over. Just like that. Okay? Now he got a little ahead of me, so I'm going to back him up and tell him I want him to step sideways with the front end. And if you notice, the right rear, we'll get the camera to look at that, okay? Should be pivoting. Good. Good. We got some bugs coming out around bothering his ears a little bit. Okay. So <clears throat> let's review. When I want to go someplace, I want to be able to take my hand, and if I want him to trot, he will effortlessly. And when I stop, he stops. And when I back up, he should back up. Let's see if we can get the camera to look at this. <clears throat> and whoa. And I back. He backs. Good. And forward. Come around in front of the camera. Come up right through the circle here, and whoa, good, good job. Now, went to teach him to back up, if you remember on the concentrated circle, we start doing that, but when I start teaching these other horses to go forward, it's gonna be forward, whoa, back up, go forward, Stop, 
switch hands, back up, good. Excellent. Good, and if you've done a really good job, we can actually take the snap off. Teaching to move the hindquarters. Hindquarters, hindquarters. Good. Come here. Pay attention. Hind quarters. Hind quarters. Good. Shoulder. Then we got a side pass. Change directions. Hind quarters. Shoulder. Side pass. Uh, 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 uh. Hind quarters. Side pass, good. Hind quarters and back. Hurry up, good. And get him the truck with me. Hey. Which is kind of fun to do. That means that definitely tells you you made a connection with your horse and wants to be with you. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.